Ready. Ready? Okay. My name is Diana McIntyre Pike, and I am the president of the International Institute for Peace Through Tourism for the Caribbean. And I'm also the president and founder of the Contra Style Community Tourism Network, Villages as Businesses. And we are promoting the lifestyle, community experiences of the people of the Caribbean. We're very proud that we are involved with this peace festival. It is an important message that we have to give from the Caribbean. And I couldn't think of any better person than my mother who wrote a very important book called Peace. And I'm going to just quote from her at her preface that the whole world seems to be a mass of confusion everywhere. People are becoming very unsettled in their thoughts, clouding their vision of the future. If this negative thinking is allowed to gain momentum, the result will be a spiritual suicide. I really feel threatened when I stop and ask, where is God in this world of crime? Poverty and distress on every side. I hope that by writing this message, someone may achieve some measure of spiritual peace. And this is a quote from Cecily McIntyre, my dear mother, uh, in May 1993. So before our Lord left his disciples, he blessed them with his peace. My peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The word peace is used so glibly. Often we hear peace and love. And during the Eucharist, we sometimes sing, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Or we pass the peace by shaking hands with our church sisters and brothers. This is something that I grew up with of the peace offering in the church. But what we have to do is take it beyond the church to the different communities. And it is important to mention from this book that my mother said there was once an art competition with peace as the theme. And there were many entries for the prize. Many of the artists portrayed scenes of calm seas or peaceful meadows with cattle grazing. But the paintings that won was a scene of a bird perched on a limb of a tree, singing lustfully, while below there was a raging wind and boiling torments of water. This is a peace we need to capture in this world of turmoil that around us. She talked about growing up, and I think it's important for us to understand that for us to be able to have peace, we have to love each other. We have to love our brothers and sisters, we have to love our communities, and we have to do what we can to help them. And the solution, the answer must surely start within our hearts and minds. As one writer says, we can use our thoughts to live in hell or heaven. We should therefore turn to the messages of peace, starting with the angels of Christ's birth, when they sang to the shepherds, peace on earth, goodwill to all men, our Lord still the storm with the words, peace be still. Today, despite the anger of our crowd, we have Jesus' assurance of peace within our hearts if we invite them to be with us. Peace is a gift from God, as Paul discovered while he was in prison. God's peace, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit promised by the Lord Jesus. You'll perhaps say, this is all being well and good coming from the Bible, but I'm human. I have uncomfortable feelings, so how can I get hold of this peace? In my own experience, she said, I've found that the beginning of inward peace is forgiveness, which starts with ourselves. No matter what wrongs we have done, we know we have an advocate with God, our Father, who is loving and will forgive us our sins. We must therefore extend forgiveness to others and be at peace with ourselves. And from her personal experience, she said, I learned that the first step to peace is humility, which is something we need, recognizing the fact that I'm nothing but for the grace of God and that I can accomplish nothing but by God's guidance. And so what we need to do is to have this, the knowledge that peace conquers and peace is what will take us forward. Remember this, a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. I found great comfort in singing hymns of peace when I'm feeling weak in spirit and one hymn 
that comes to her mind, she said, when peace like a river attendant my way, what sorrows, when sorrows like sea belly is smooth, whatever my last thou has sought me is to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. So today, as we celebrate International Women's Day of Peace, we women need to ban, we need to come together together and understand the importance of loving and caring for each other, reaching out to people who are around us. And as we see what is happening with the war that is in our midst, we need to pray for peace and love and bring people together. So like Sir Francis said, let us pray each day, Lord, make an instrument of your peace. I bid you all uh, greetings today as we celebrate each other as women, knowing that the power of women uniting together worldwide will help to bring about peace. And the Caribbean women in particular are together. We have on this program, we have a number of our Caribbean women led by Sharon Parrish Chambers and Valerie Dixon. You will see them on this program and Alum Asamba. We have others. I invite you all to pray with us for peace. Thank you very much.